anyone that studies acting in a modern way has either studied Stanislavski or some derivative or inspired method from Stanislavski. So you can't get away from Stanislavski in the modern acting training. Now, in my opinion, one of the best techniques from the Stanislavski method is called the substitution. Now, what is the substitution? Substitution is when you take something that you do know, a person, a thing, and your relationship slash feeling towards it, and you use it to substitute for something else. Before I do an example, think about why you would use this. Let's say you get a script and you only have a week to really understand certain things and you have to understand all the other characters and your relationship to them. Maybe there's a character. It requires an intense, whether positive or negative relationship with that person. How do you just establish that when you have just gotten your character, you just met the actors that have gotten their characters. This is a lot of times where substitution comes in. If you've lived through life, you probably have certain people you can pull from where you have strong positive or negative or some strong emotion towards. So to get that relationship quickly in acting, you can pull from real life examples. That's where the substitution comes. The key is it's about relationships, right? So you're not substituting someone for yourself. You're not trying to be someone else, right? That's different. This is about your relationship to someone else. So you're substituting someone else to understand a relationship. A way to practice this is take someone you know and then substitute someone else and talk about the person you know, but put that other person in there. So here's an example. There's a method to this madness because look at this cute little dinky Carter. Carter's mommy. Madeline. So Madeline, I'm going to send this to you. For those of you who don't know, Madeline's my neighbor. She's one of the most intelligent, hardworking, and she's also a beautiful person, like beautiful externally and internally, right? So this is the actual person. Now watch what happens when I substitute someone else. Check out how the emotions, the relationship changes. So now I'm going to talk about Madeline, but I'm actually talking about someone else, but I'm going to talk about Madeline. Watch this. And Madeline has the most inflated ego and she don't understand boundaries. It's crazy. She's one of those girls that will just show up at your place, expect you to just let her in, and then try to eat your food and everything. It's ridiculous. Madeline used to be a fighter, past her prime, past her prime. But somehow, she still thinks she's the best fighter. The amount of arrogance she has, the amount of disdain that she has for other people who are trying to learn to fight. It's ridiculous. This girl does not know how to play win-win. And she is an expert bridge burner. If you introduce her to any of your friends, she will very likely make them angry. So Madeline's just crazy person. Avoid her at all costs. Obviously, as you guys know, the real Madeline's not like this, right? I substituted someone else I knew, but I talked about Madeline. You see the power of this technique? So now if you get a role, let's say you get a role and you and your college professor, let's say, and you have to not like your college professors. Let's say in real life, you've never hated a college professor. Well, what can you do? Look through your life. Think about someone else that you don't like. And so when you're thinking about your relationship with the college professor in the play or in the script, in the movie, in the TV show, whatever you're in, substitute that person. Who in your life did you not like? Was it a bully from school? Was it a parent figure? Was it someone else? Substitute that person and you'll understand how you feel and what your relationship is like with that college professor. So now you ask, why do I bring up Carter? One, because Madeline's Carter's mommy, but there's something important about Carter. You see, you can use substitution, not just with people, you can use it on other things. I'm a person that doesn't value money too much. I just don't care too much about that stuff. I got my own vices, but money is not one of them. I just don't care. So let's say if I got a role and I need to be a really caring about money, really money hungry type of that kind of dude, what can I do? How do I make a substitution? This is where Carter comes in. Look at Carter. Look at Carter. See, see what I feel? See my relationship to Carter? I can substitute Carter for money. So let's say I have a wad of cash here. Obviously the real me doesn't care. So how can I understand my relationship to this, that I treasure this, that I live for this, right? I can substitute Carter for this. Here, check out what happens. Imagine if there's a lot of money in here. Man, when I hold all this money, 
I just instantly relax. Oh, I just I can hold it all day. Man, I just look forward to seeing this whenever. You guys understand what I'm doing, right? I'm substituting Carter. I'm talking about Carter, but that relationship, that feeling towards this wad of cash, it's coming from a genuine place because I'm putting Carter in here. Instantly, you touch this and you just feel good. Sometimes that doesn't even care. It doesn't even serve your purpose, but you can't be mad at it. You see how suddenly, if I wanted to play some guy who really loves money, this is a shortcut, right? It's a shortcut for me to understand the emotions, the relationship to this. Obviously, this is not the be all end all, right? As an actor, depending on what school of thought, eventually you probably have to either through your imagination or through other experiences really genuinely feel beyond just the substitution. But the substitution is so effective because it's the first step. The journey of a thousand miles, sometimes it takes that first step, right? And then you can start understanding your character better. You can understand your genuine reactions better. So this is the beauty of substitution. And this is what I want to show you guys. A lot of people, they talk about substitution. It's a lot interpersonal, which is important, but you can do it for objects. You can do it for things. You can do it for commodities. I will bring Carter on this channel. He's never come on this channel before. He is not right now near me because I am not in LA right now. So I'll bring Carter and Carter's mommies have actually acted too. So I'll bring them on this channel too. Okay, talk to these guys soon. I hope you enjoyed. I'll do a lot more explorations into acting because obviously I've taken acting classes and they're life changing. Talk to you guys soon.